Bible Journey continues to gain popularity with growing canoe families and new canoes on the water every year. 2016 was no exception. This year, the Stillaguamish tribe joined the canoes for the first time. We caught up with the Stillaguamish canoe family as they were greeted by the Puyallup tribe on Owen Beach. We are glad you had a safe journey and we welcome you here, so please come ashore. It's been a long journey so far. It's been a journey just to get to this point, to get on the water, but it's been, it's been great work. It's, uh, it's a lot of bringing people together. Um, we meet every week to practice our songs, share a meal together, and then every weekend we get out on the water. For me to see you know, the Stillaguamish tribe go from zero to here on journey, pulling on a nine hour day like this, the Stillaguamish tribe has been working really hard to be here. The, yeah, this is the first time my community has been able to come out here and participate as their own community. We got people that are just friends of friends that are coming willing to relieve polars if we need it or bring sandwiches or do whatever. And it's, it's brought together a, a missing piece, I think, in our own community. And it, more, more fullness, more, more togetherness. This was actually my first time paddling today. I wish more people came out. The more people, the more fun it is. And like, it's just awesome. And I just want everyone to have that moment. I'm, I'm loving pulling. Even though it can be tiring, can cause some soreness in the muscles, it's really fun. It reminds us of who we are and where we came from. And it shows others that we remember and we know who we are. So the name of this canoe is Ishil Yachwala, and that literally means paddling eagle, as in the eagle goes paddling with us. On this canoe on the bow, we carry an eagle feather. We believe that that power helps lift the bow out of the water and keeps the canoe afloat. So from the place that we started up until now, there's been unbelievable amounts of change. We've, we've gotten better at, at using the songs to keep each other together. We practice the songs with our drums first, and we teach them that each drum beat is a paddle stroke. And then when we get in the canoe, they've already got that same beat down. It's beaten every expectation that I've had, every landing that I've been to, to the protocols at night, like everything's holding up to the expectation. And to be out here today, to land, it's pretty special. It's, it's a dream come true for a lot of us. You don't ever remember the early mornings or the, the long, hard days. You remember when you land on the beach and you can smell the barbecue cooking on the shore and you're covered in salt water. <laughs> and, uh, it's an amazing journey. You see all these new people out here and like new faces that you haven't seen around, like people from all around like the world, and different tribes coming together and enjoying this. So out of this journey, the tribe gets a, a stronger family, a stronger sense of identity. They get a stronger connection to each other, and that makes us more resilient as a people in an ever-changing world. And to be able to teach this to our community, to our youth, and to have our elders standing on the beach is waiting for us. Sitting out right there. Let's go out, let's go out for another 10 hours. That was worth it. That right there was worth it. We could be the last canoe every day. If I get that response, I'm more than happy. <laughs> you know, this this canoe in the, in the years to come will hopefully still be carrying our people through these waters, and our ancestors will still be guiding them. And that's what I want to see. And that's what I hope for. For more stories from the Paddle to Nisqually, visit nwin.tv. This is Leandra Smith reporting.